<laughs> hey guys, my cat is intently watching me and visiting, hooray! So, um, I watched this video, it was a really um, interesting idea, it was called the Inspiration Swap, I'll have a link to that in the description hopefully, and I thought um, I would love to try something like that. Um, I've seen things, people do stuff that is like a mood board painting where you share a Pinterest account and add inspirational pictures to it and both of you <clears throat> make a painting with those pictures. I think that that would be kind of fun and maybe I might add something like that to my Patreon. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so we gave each other five pictures and at first I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to work in all five because um, she ended up sending me three different location shots. <laughs> so I was like, how am I going to do a painting that is located in three different places? But I, I think I've decided how to make it work. I have a really rough kind of sketching thing, but I kind of wanted to film a little bit of my thought process. Please excuse my hands, I've dyed them black by accident. And yeah, so I really wanted to start off with this photograph uh, that she took on her phone of the moon. Uh, I like the idea of the moon and the high contrast, so uh, I decided to choose that for my location. So I'm doing a rough thing. Uh, I'm not a photorealistic artist, so I'm just gonna take what I want from this. And I already sketched in the location of the moon, so that's easy. Here we go. A moon. Alright, so that's that. Um, the next picture is of a river. I guess I could have the river sort of in it, even though it's not um, going to be geographically accurate. It's kind of accurate. Picture number five is of a beautiful freaking sunset, so I'm going to use that here. And another picture is at the aquarium um, in front of the jellyfish. I assume that she just wanted me to be inspired by the jellyfish, but I kind of like the whole entire picture. <laughs> so I wanted to include that. I know that seems kind of weird, but I'm going to actually include this child. Especially since the lighting is kind of perfect too. I will probably I will go in for details except I wanted to add this owl somewhere so I was gonna just so I, you can see that I was gonna put the owl on her shoulder and I will probably stick with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the owl here and then um, I was going to have the jellyfish floating like around the moon, you know what I mean? So it's going to be sort of like a silly fantastic painting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of going for an old fantasy kind of thing like I used to do in high school. I was really inspired by Stephanie Law, so you're going to see a lot of... Um, layering and lighting effects that are really popular especially now that everyone is just doing that and trust me it's going to be completely worth it in the end and um i'm using the masking fluid that gray Man got me shout out to gray Man. um so i don't have to worry about painting around every silly jellyfish as i'm doing the sunset because how awful would that be Masking fluid isn't perfect. It has a very harsh line and <clears throat> it usually has a bit of a bumpy texture around that line too. So it won't be this perfect little dot of white either. So that's sort of the compromise with masking fluid. It does ultimately make it simpler but you might actually have a little bit less control depending on how you're applying it. Me, it would look kind of like rough even if I did it by hand, so. 
I'm just going for it. And yeah, so pretty much all of the work in this painting is just layering. I put so much work into this sky <laughs> and it really shows. I really, really love the way the sky turned out. It's so rich. It's kind of the most um, deep and colorful thing I've ever painted, I think. I think my least favorite part of this painting is probably the jellyfish, just because they are so small, really, um, that I can't really do a whole lot of fine detail. You can tell that they're jellyfish, but you know, mm, um, they're okay. Like the little white um, dots, which are supposed to be sort of jellyfish in the background, like in the picture, but they really just look like white dots. <laughs> And I don't know, maybe I'll fix that later. I haven't decided. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. I kind of hope that we can do more of them. Um, but yeah, if you want to see what pictures I sent Lindsay and what she did with them, uh, follow the link into the description. By the time you see this, hopefully she's either posted it already or is about to. So go ahead and subscribe if you're waiting for that. Um, like I said, she is a spiritual kind of intuitive artist. She mostly does commissions for people um, that are really, really interesting. It's almost kind of like a tarot reading even. And it's very personalized to you. So go check her out. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.